Stop now. Come up Wait, wait, wait. Ozia, Ozia. What is this now? There is something I want to tell you. What do you want to tell me? I want to give you a revelation. What is What happened? Forget about police brutality in Nigeria. Just forget about police police brutality. This is another level of of violence. That citizens are meeting out to one another. That the rich citizen feels they need to meet out to the poor just because they've got the money. The corruption in the system has turned everybody's mind into something else. No more human feelings. No more considerations for one another. The looting by Nigerian politicians has so reduced everyone to a state of violence against one another. This young man with golden hair has made some money for himself by doing comedies on Facebook and he's made a lot of money. So like the Nigerian politicians who surround themselves with, with, with security men that brutalize people, he has also surrounded himself with his own kind of security men that easily brutalize people because they know they will go scot-free. This young man has done nothing to deserve what these people have done to him. But you know what? It has a beautiful ending. It has a very beautiful ending because at the end of the day, because of the way they brutalized him, he says he's a man of God. He wanted them to listen to him. They did not just refuse, but they brutalized him. They could have just walked away from him, but they brutalized him. He pronounced a curse. <laughs> he said to one of this particular one, he told him, he says, you brutalize me, sickness will never depart from your family. And today, this young man is completely down. He's so ill, he says with his mouth, he cannot even get out of his bed. And at the end of the day, they started looking for this young man to beg him. Just watch this. I'm begging you, I'm on my knees. I, I, beg I, don't, you, I, I, beg. I don't like it like this, please. I'm a person down now. I cannot do, I cannot forgive you. Good evening, guys. Um, my name is Uzi. Um, for like, it's more than a week now. Fargo has not been around, so... I don't know, since I had this encounter with um, that pastor, Destiny. After he called, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not been feeling well, and it is more than one week since for our travel. Um, I've been trying to regain myself. I've gone for tests and some certain treatment, I've gotten drugs, but nothing seems to be working. Like, I don't really know what's happening. They keep saying nothing is wrong with me, but then again, it all bounces back to Pastor Destiny. I don't really know what's happening. He just out of the blue, I started feeling sick. I've tried reaching for our boy, yes, we have spoken and because of me now, he's going to leave his business trip and start coming back. It's not fair. What we did was for safety. And all these things here, I don't even understand what is happening. I can't eat. If I eat, I will vomit. I haven't gone out of this room for like five days. I've been inside, I've been stuck here. I feel, I'll feel cold, I'll feel heat. Sometimes I'll be shivering, my eyes will be turning me. I don't really know what's happening. Please guys, I don't really know if you guys can help me reach out to Pastor Destiny because I, I Flower Boy told me he has been trying to reach him, but he's not responding yet. I don't really know what's happening. Please, Uzi is very sick. Uzi is very sick. Uzi is very, he's very sick. I'm begging you. When the nation fails, when justice fails, everybody resorts to their own self help method. You can see the man, Flower Boy, used his own self, met, uh, self help method to deal with this guy. Now this guy is using his own self-help method to deal with um, Flower Boy. I don't really know what to say, but what do you have to say? Do you think the pastor is taking things too far? Do you think that he deserved the treatment from Flower Boy and his men? The nation is corrupt. The justice system is corrupt. In developed world, this guy would have sued for damages, emotional and physical assault by Flower Boy, but he knows he can't get justice from the system. Flower Boy could have called the police if he felt threatened by this guy's presence in his house and the police would have come and taken the guy away or asked the guy to go away peacefully. But the, the, the brutality pervades the whole strata of the society from politicians to, to the police to the Fulani headsmen. They are still killing people every day in Plateau State. They're just slaughtering masses of people. They are still killing people in Southern Nigeria, in Edo State, in Abia State, all the states in southeast and south-south, killing, shedding of innocent blood every day. 
and the brutality keeps increasing is you are not caught by the brutality you just slump and die due to high blood pressure the tension in the system is too much jesus is this the same guy that the guy that that was there with me the, the, that day you came and the, the guy, guy now where you where this is his this is I your friend i don't carry i don't carry and go hospital don't run first he said nothing they fine. You don't see anything. Jesus. He has been so, like this for, for more than for more than three days now. You know I travel. So in the morning where we met you, this is exactly what I was uh, I was explaining. But see his body. Even in the morning, when are they tell him? They say nothing they wrong. There's nothing wrong with him, but Jesus. Are they even plan Kali and go to me? Excuse, excuse, excuse. Please. 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 Well, I don't like my guy suffering like At this. The pastor has come to break the curse over the life of this Uzi boy. He's almost dying, but the pastor says he's forgiving him now. He's praying over him for him to regain his health back. I beg, I beg, I beg. Father Lord, he has given me the power to cause and to bless. Father Lord, please, I want to ask for forgiveness. Uzi, calm down. I know that he has offended you, Father Lord, by treating me so bad. But it is he sent me on my knees begging you, Father Lord. Please, I want you to forgive this young man. Amen. May the Lord open Amen. our eyes. May the Lord give us a heart of compassion. Amen. May the Lord open the ah. eyes of the poor masses to know that their enemy is not their fellow poor person. That the enemy is the politicians that have been pushed everyone.